Hello and welcome to Seven Super Series. I'm Ben from the Bonehead Podcast and today I'm joined by Ben. Hello. How are you doing today, Ben? All right? Yeah, really good. Good. Thank you very much for joining us on the Seven Super Series. Um, we're going to be playing some Blood Bowl 7s today. So it is now round two of first season proper where we've got five teams we're doing round robin games. So this week the Chaos Halflings will be taking... Uh, taking a week off to recover from their last game, uh, which gives us our first game for today, which is the Snow Spiders human team and the Gitzberg Steelers, the Orcs team. So, first things first. Played Blood Bowl 7s before, Ben? I've played a lot of Blood Bowl 7s, yep. Yeah. Did quite well, I believe. Yeah, came third in the uh, in the tournament yeah. with Amazons. So this was our Sewer Bowl 7s, Blood Bowl 7s tournament. Five rounds, which is yeah. a lot of Blood Bowl if for one day. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Amazon, Amazon's came third. Yeah, did really well. The uh, four blitzers is a good build. <laughs> <laughs> so the builds we've got today are not quite as overpowered as four Amazon blitzers. Um, let's start with the humans. Okay, so for the snow spiders, this is their first game because they sat out the first round as, as, as their bye week. Uh, we've got an ogre, a thrower, two blitzers and four linemen. Because it is the second round, we have two skills. And because humans are tier two, their first skill was normal and their second skill is a double. So for the normal skill, they went with leader on the thrower to give them that one reroll. And the double couldn't resist putting block on the ogre. No, you've got to put block on the ogre. Exactly. So you're going to be running humans. Yep, I'm going to play with them. Okay, cool. How do you feel about this list? I think it's really solid. Yeah, the block ogre is just too too tempting. Block over, yeah, block ogre will do really, really well. Yeah, um, very bashy you've got bench as well so you do yeah. have a spare person if someone gets taken out and yeah a block strength five guys you've got the one thrower uh, yeah. with leader so yeah solid solid team could you bring up the next one okay let's have a look at the orc lineup so first things first these guys have got fan factor plus two and one reroll so they went with a slightly more mm. um, assisted build they've got a thrower who so far has got one completion and one touchdown this season. A Black Orc, who's taken a level up with Block. Uh, a Blitzer, who after the last game, where he did brilliantly and scored a touchdown and a casualty, has taken Tackle. Uh, another Blitzer and three linemen. So only seven players, which could be a bit of a vulnerability against the Ogre. But they have got the armour. They've I got think. armour nine, is huge. Yeah, even with Mighty Blow on the Ogre, I think they kind of stay in there. Mighty blow block on the ogre. Now these guys have got strength four block black orc. Yeah. But he is going to be overshadowed by the ogre. Ah, uh, hit someone else. So, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. So, happy with those lists? Yeah, very. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So let's have a look. Okay, here we have the human team, the snow spiders. Ben, would you talk us through what we've got? Okay, so starting off, we have the thrower um, with leader. So he's going to be giving me a crucial reroll. So it also comes with sure hands and pass, like all human throwers. Um, next to him, we have the, blo uh, the ogre sorry, with block. So I'm sure he's going to be doing a lot of smashing this game. Um, and then next to him, we have the two blitzers. So they also have block. No skills on them. And behind, we just have stock linemen. Four linemen, so you've got a bench. Yep. And thank strength you. five blocker. And two other blockers. And a guy with sure hands pass and leader. Yes. Not a bad team for round two. Yeah, I do like passing, not sure if I will. <laughs> this is not really the team for passing, but you've yeah. always got that option. Yep. Yeah. So that, that's handy. Fantastic. And here we have the Gitzberg Steelers, the Orc team. We've got a thrower. We've got a black orc. He has got block. We've got a blitzer who's got tackle. We've got another blitzer who's just general and three linemen in reserve. This team is rocking a reroll, however. Okay, so first roll of the game is going to be weather. So that's one dice each. A one and a five, so that's normal weather. That's good. Nothing exciting with that. Uh, ban factor. I think the Orcs have got plus one, but that's not even remotely going to matter. No. So you get fame plus two. Excellent. Bit of a token on there. And probably the most important roll for the kick. Oh, one again. And only a two, but that's going to be enough. Okay, so, uh, humans, you get to choose to receive or to kick. I think I will receive. 
Okay, so Orcs are kicking. Okay, Orcs are going to be kicking away, so we've got three linemen on the line and our good players in reserve, just in case we get an Ogre Blitz. And we've got an unusual formation here, so everybody on the front line, apart from one lineman, and then we've got the thrower in reserve. So, let's kick off. Place the ball there, let's be cheeky with this. That's 2d6 and a d8, so it's two squares to six. And now, it's in your favour. One, two, so it, it very well could get a bad bounce, but we'll see. What's the kickoff table going to be? It's a six, which is cheering fans. So this is a d6 and you've got fame, so d6 and you get plus two, so a six. Okay, let's pop roll that bad boy again. It's a six. Now in sevens that means that nobody gets the roll. Oh, no fun. So no re-rolls for anybody and the ball bounces. And it goes here, which is across the halfway line. So Ooh. it is a kickback. That is a touchback. Well, touchback. I'll stick that straight on the thrower, I think. Magic. First thing I'm going to try and do, I think, is move the ogre. Okay, so he is bonehead, so anything but a one. That'll do. He's fine. He's going to go one, two, three, four, and five. I'll turn him around. Okay, I'm going to move a lineman up. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to move my thrower. Now he can move six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to move Lyman up. One, two, three, four. I'm going to move this Lyman. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put a blitz there. One, two, three. Now I'm going to blitz with this blitzer. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're movement seven, aren't they? Yep. So, so you don't need block. to go for it. And he's strength three plus one for friendship with this guy here. Yep. Against a strength three orc. So two dice and you choose. I think I will choose the push. Okay. And I'll push you, I'll push you back. And I'm not going to follow up. Okay. That is my turn. Okay, so we've got the ball carrier back here. I'm not sure I can actually get to him with anybody. So let's see if we can't play the strength game while we still can. So blitz, one, two, three. We'll plop the black orc in there and we'll punch this blitzer. So he doesn't need an assist because he's strength four against strength three. So he gets two dice. We will take the push, st push pal, star, dodge star, <laughs> and I'll pop him back there. Now I'm not going to follow up directly. So that's uh, one, two, three, four for the blitz. Yep. And then we will roll armor. Ten That'll breaks break the, the armor. armor. Can we take him out? No, he's just stunned. Um, and not bad, not bad. We'll move this lineman up to there. We've got this blitzer here. Now he's the guy with tackle. Won't do anything against your team at all. So let's just pop him in there. And then one, two, three. Let's go one, two, three. Pop him in there. And we'll move this blitzer up and around. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Tag on the end. And you know what? I don't think we're in a place where you're going to do any massive breakouts. So one, two, three, four, five. Five to there. Let's go for it. Okay, now I'm in a pretty tricky spot here. I'll decide who I want to punch. I think I'm going to early on try and take out your thrower because that might make the game harder for you later. So I'm going to block him with the ogre first of all, so bonehead. Yep, he's fine. So I'm just going to turn around the thrower because he hasn't been. And that will be a two die block on the okay. thrower. So we've got the ogre going for the thrower. Yep. Uh, my ogre does have block now. He does, and the thrower does not. So he goes down. That is a bit annoying. I kind of wanted to move with him, but I'll take that. Let's see if you break the armor. No. Not even with mighty blow. Even with mighty blow. So the ogre has been. Throw a block from this lineman on this orc lineman. Okay, so you're getting plus one support from the ogre. Yeah, so it'd be too low. That's a pal. I have to go there, I believe. You do, yeah. 
but I am going to follow. Okay, so, he goes so down. what happens to him? No armor. Doesn't break the armor. Neither that on the ogre. See, as a traditional Skaven player, this armor 9 is lush. Yeah. <laughs> Durable player for once. And I think I'll just chain this. I think this one is now going to throw a block here. Okay, so that will be plus one strength. So two dice with the lineman. Yep. Oh, do I want to do that? I think I might do it with the blitzer. Because that'll also be two there. Okay, so. I'll do it with the blitzer instead. Ah, didn't okay. matter. The orcs don't often have dodge. I'm going to push you there and follow up. Hmm. There's a line of broken orcs. So that was a push down, wasn't it? Push down, yeah. Okay. I'm wondering if that is the best place for it. Where was he? Was he there? He was in your position. He was in my position, wasn't he? So he had to go there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see what I get for the armor. No. Well, I think my thrower is going to move into relative safety. Tuck him in here. And then this player is free. Um, two, three, four. That does make it difficult for the blitzer. So I think I am going to do that and possibly risk a dodge here. <laughs> now I'm an elf player, I'm going to risk the dodge. Okay. So he's dodging if he's not going into any tackle zones, so that's just a three plus? Yep. It's just a three plus. Easy, right? Yeah. There he gets it. So that's one. One, two, three. I'll, go, I'll put him there. For okay. A bit of safety. Okay, and that is your turn, sir. Right. First things first. We're going to throw the. We're going to throw. We're going to throw the stander up. Get that thrower up. Take up those tackle zones. Um, I'm not really going anywhere with this guy, so we'll take him up and put him there as well. Okay. We'll move the blitzer. He will go one, two, three. Tuck him in there, and then we'll blitz with the black orc. So he's going to go one, two. And over the top of this human corpse, <laughs> tuck in there, and have a crack at the ball carrier. So he's strength four. He's cancelled out by that ogre, and you don't get anything from that anywhere. So that's two there. Could I borrow two dice, please? Thank you very much. Okay, let's see if his block will pay off. No, but dodge will. So, yeah, dodge pops him down, and we'll pop him there. That's a poorly placed thrower. And I will follow up. And then we will roll for the armor. He's fine. But the ball does come out. So the ball goes eightwards, which is That's a on weller thrower. So down. he goes there. Yeah. And the ball goes ah, there. Yes, it does. So that was the blitz, but now the ball is kind of within reach of that blitzer. It is within a tackle zone, though. Let's pop him up. Uh, we've got this lineman here, who is obviously very menacing. I think... There's, I think I'm going to leave him there for a second. And we've got two risky choices here. We can go for the pickup, or we can just try and get some tackle zones on it. So um, let's go for glory. One, two. Try and pick up the ball. So it's a four plus. Not today. I'm going to burn the reroll. Let's okay. go for it. There he you go. gets it. So it's one, two, and he's just going to stay there, I think. Now, blocking's not so great. Then we'll move this orc up, and we'll go for a foul. See if we can't take Ooh. the blitzer off. Not even slightly. Risky play when you've only got seven players. That's it. That's it for me. Okay, now, I think I'm going to start things off. By standing up my blitzer, he's not going to move. So I'm going to throw a block at the black orc from the ogre. Okay, so bonehead, bonehead first of all. He's, he's fine. fine. And then two dice. I'll take that power. There you go. So he has to go there. He has to go there. I'll lay him down on top of the thrower's head. Um, are you following up with the ogre? Oh, now that is a question. No. All no, right. I'm not going to follow up. So let's see what this mighty blow can do. It can do it. Everything. So that breaks the armor without Mighty Blow. Yep. So it's probably for a good injury. 
Oh, with Mighty Blow, that is a nine, so it's KO. So the Black Orc is knocked out. That's a great start. That's huge removal. And now. And now, indeed. Yes, I think I will blitz with the thrower. I'm going to get him up. So three. one, two, three. He's got one assist with the lineman, so that's two dice to block. Oh, I'm going to use my reroll. Okay. That's what I need. There it is. So I will put him there. And, I'm and follow following up. up. Brilliant. Okay, roll for armor. See if you can do that again. Ooh. No, he's fine. Yep. Armor, armor nine, which is fantastic. So he goes down and he drops the ball. So let's see where it goes. It's a three, so Puts it, it goes there. there. Okay. And he still, so that was three, get up, four for the blitz. He's still got two more movements. I'm Perfect. Gonna, Move him on there, try and pick it up on a three. Yep. Yeah, and he had sure hands as well to back it up. Yeah, so he's still got one more move left. I think I'm going to use it to get out of range of that blitzer. There's no such thing as out of range of a movement six or blitzer. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I take Leaf out of your book and go for the foul. So as it stands, He's there, so if he was to foul, you'd get plus one to the die roll. You know, it's Blood Bowl, I fancy my chances. Okay, so what you're doing here is you're gambling a 50,000 piece against a 90,000 piece. So And I've got a spare. It, well, so. you do have a spare, exactly. So 2d6 and plus one, looking for a total of 10. Ah, that's, not, oh, that's a double, though. It's a double. <laughs> he oh, does get gone. sent off. What a terrible idea. That is a turnover. <laughs> oh, no. Orc turn three. So the Blitzer had the ball, he's now lost the ball, but uh, we might be in a position to take it back. Let's see if we can't clear a bit of space. So we're down the Black Orc, but we've still got a little bit of a benefit here. So he's going to block the Blitzer with his support. That's what you need. There we go, we'll take that one down. So we'll pop him there, and we'll follow up all day long. Rolling the armor, seven, nothing at all. So what that does do is that frees him up to go one, two, three, four, five. And now we can blitz with the blitzer. Blitzer's gonna blitz. One, two, three, and he's got the power of friendship. Yep. Taking him to a mighty strength four. And he's got block, because he's a blitzer. Takes oh, yeah. them both down. Yeah. And that human thrower gets knocked down again. But he's fine for armor. So that's one, two, three, four, and then the ball doth scatter. Would you do the honours, please, Ben? To three. Oh, well, that is a good position for the Orcs. So one, two, three, four for the Blitz. Five, six. Are oh, you going to go for it to pick up the ball? I am out of re-rolls, so I don't think so. I don't think we will. So we'll see if we can't do some cheeky skill blocks here. So this Blitzer has got block, so he's going to try one dice on him. But anyway, it pays Perfect. off. Chuck him to the sideline. I won't follow up because now this gives the lineman some assistance. Nine breaks the armor, and then seven. He's only stunned, it's fine. But now that means that this orc can get plus one strength from him and go for the block. Oh! Oh no, that's on a blitzer. Oh, you have the both down. You have block, oh, I don't have block, so the orc goes down. That's a good bit of luck for me. Doesn't break his arm. But he's okay, however that is a turnover. Now we are on to the human turn four. Yep, so I think business as usual. So bonehead? Oh, oh not today. he fails the bonehead. <laughs> yep, he's failed his bonehead. He's lost his tackle zone. So I think it's only appropriate Oh, look at that. That he gets the bonehead marker. <laughs> okay, that throws a spanner in the works now. Well, it was only a block, wasn't it? So you still got your blitz. Yeah, thankfully. But he doesn't have a tackle zone now. Blitz with this blitzer here. Risk a one die. So, okay, I'm going to stand up my thrower. That should happen. Because even if the blitz goes wrong, there is a tackle zone on the ball. Yes, exactly. And yeah, I'm going to declare the blitz with the blitzer. So he's going to take three to stand up. He's going to dodge there. 
Well. <sighs> oh, he fails the dodge roll. And I've used my reroll. So the human goes down. And his armor's fine. But again, another turnover. Oh, I'm running out of turns. And turn four for the orcs. So we've got an ogre here who is boneheaded. But all the action is up here at the moment. So we will play little. Here we go. He is going to block the throw out with the blitz of support. Oh, oh no. Good lord. <laughs> I'll take the both down. I've got the armor advantage with the orc. Yeah. Uh, nope, human armor's fine. Orc armor. Oh, that's a reroll. But you can only get a seven. Yeah, he's, he's fine. That's it. However, that was a jolly quick turn. So on my turn five, I'm going to try this again without the assist there. So I'm going to stand up the thrower. That's right. This will now make it a two die blitz. Yes, and I don't have to do that dodge. <laughs> no. So I'm going to blitz with the blitzer. So three to move, four there, five for the blitz. Oh, right, that's the wrong die. Two die. Uh, and that's what I need. So you can go over there, friend. I'm starting to think this blitzer needs to get a dodge when he levels up. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to follow up. Okay, let's see that armor. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's going to try and pick up the ball. So that's one, two, three, four, five for the blitz, and six for the ball. He's got the ball. He gets it. And he's got one more move left, which I think will place him there. So this human on the sideline is not actually stunned anymore. Oh, you're correct, yeah. Because, the, because of how quick the last turn was, we didn't get the, we forgot to turn him over. So you can now get him up and position him to support your blitzer. I'm still wondering if I want to go for it with him, because I don't like where he's standing. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to go for it to there. So we're going to go for it. He's ah, it's all right. OK. OK, now I'm going to finish with him. <laughs> OK, now, yeah, I will get this one up and move him to there. Now I'm going to try and get, save my ogre from Bonehead. Anything but a wand. And throw a block. That He's fine. It. He's going to block the thrower again. I will. Oh, right, OK. So strength five, strength three, two dice. Hey, Pow. That's, that's what I need. And you can go over there. So let's get rid of that token because he's no longer burnt. Is he following up? Uh, yes, he is. Let's follow him up there and then roll for armor. Seven. Even with Mighty Blow, he's fine. He's just down. Now I think it's time to block the Blitzer with my Blitzer. Yep, yeah, so he gets plus one strength, so two dice. Push, That's and I don't have good. dodge. I think these all guys need dodge. You can go there. And I will follow up. And armor. Ooh, there you go. That is good. Okay, injury. Oh, oh he is out for the match. Casualty. I'll mark that down. I think I'm going to risk. I'm going to punch him. Wait, you got two, two dice. dice. Yeah, two dice because of support from the ogre. I was debating a dodge to get, just to get a player free, but I've got a couple free here, so it's fine. Um, yep, two dice. Yeah, look at that. It's good luck for the humans now. Okay, so where's he going? I'll punch him over there. And are you following up? No. Okay. Armour. Needs today. Fine. Okay, so that's my turn. The counter steal to the steal that was a counter steal. And one yes. turn left to score. Double. Orcs turn five. Here we go. So let's put some pressure on. One, two, three. And then four. We'll pop him in there. This poor thrower is going to get up and stand there. Uh, our local league player, uh, Milton, who has been on the show before, his catchphrase is, I'm going to sacrifice my thrower. Okay. And in, in the spirit of being <laughs> Milton, we'll do that. So he will, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then the fun stuff up here. So we can get, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can get a one die blitz on the ball carrier but it's going to take a couple to go for it. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to stand up him and then blitz with the blitzer. One, two, three, four, five. We'll blitz in from the side there. And we've got the skill advantage here as well. So that's two dice with block. No, oh, I didn't need it. Double explosion. So pop the human thrower there and I will follow up into the blitzer. Armor roll. He's fine. That is, however, everything for the orcs.
Okay, human turn six. Yeah, there's only one way for me to score. Let's get the ball to this blitzer. It's very risky. And I think it's worth trying to take out your thrower again first. So I'm going to try and bonehead with the ogre. Yep. Yeah, he's fine. He's going to do the two die block on the thrower. Yep. Gets another pow. Put him there and follow up. He's down. And then armor. Uh, with no, even with mighty blow. No, all throwers have armor eight. Oh, so it does break his armor. So with mighty blow, it breaks yep. the armor. And then injury. Seven. Stun. Just a stun. Okay. Now I'm going to try this. I'm going to try and blitz with the thro this lineman here. Yep. So I'm blitzing there and blocking him. There's two die, but you do have block. I just want to push. Well, I'll take go. that. You can go down there. Armor. Ooh, breaks, breaks the, the armor. armor. This could be heroic from the human lineman. Just a stun. Not so much. But I'm not going to follow up. So this orc is stunned. Now, it all rests on this three-up dodge. Well, not all rests. There's a couple of three-ups I need to make. <laughs> but I'm going to try this three-up dodge first. I don't think there's any way right now I can make that easier. So, three-up. Made it. Three-up handoff. Yep. Yeah. Made it. it. Makes it. Now, this blitzer is going to try and make a couple of go for it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One go for it. Oh, oh he goes <laughs> down. Of course he does. OK. <laughs> so armor check. He's fine. But would you scatter the ball, please? Yes, this could go in your favor. There is. Two goes off the pitch. It does go off the pitch. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no. So diagonally that way and 2d6 squares. So this could be huge. Oh, that's good. Two squares. Uh, so one, two. And it bounces from there. One. Back on him. Back on him and it bounces from him. Get another chance. No, in is front it, of him. Is it a five? It's a five. So there is it? Yes. Okay. One turn. Okay, turn six with the orcs. The ball's down here, you've had your turn six, so yep. we're just going to forget that ball. He's stunned, he's stunned. Not great either. So, is there actually anything decent that we can do? A couple of glory blocks. Um, let's go. One, two, three. On him. And then we will blitz with the blitzer. One, two. He'll block him with his support. Mm -hmm. He actually hasn't done anything yet. He has two dice. And You've blocked. Yes, he goes down. Nothing on the armor. And then what we'll do is we'll do a cheeky foul with this orc player on the thrower. <laughs> See if we Just can't get up. rid of leader. Eight. No, not enough. No assists. Nothing. And that's it for the half. So end of the half, I've got a knocked out Black Orc who's not having any of it. So he is out still. Okay, so start of the second half and the humans are kicking to the Orcs. So where is the ball going? I think I'm going to place the ball here. Ooh, pushing the onside kick. So 2d6 and a d8, see where the ball goes. Nice idea. Five Ooh. squares to seven. That's not bad. One, two, three, four, five. And then the kickoff table. Yep, 2d6. It's a nine. Quick snap. So quick snap allows me to move all of my players one square. So we will pop him there in the, in the hope that he will pick up the ball. He'll go there. 
He'll go there, and he will go there. So, the ball now lands. And the orc is catching on a four. Yeah, I wasn't very optimistic. <laughs> so, he drops the ball, and where does it go then? Four. Back one square. That could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, I think that's quite good for the orcs. All right, straight to turn one. Right, now, with the quick snap, we've put... Uh, we're in the danger zone now. That's not just a phrase for all of the Archer fans out there. Um, he'll go there. He'll go there. We'll bring him back. One, two, three, four, five. We'll bring the Blitzer in. One, two, three, four. And then we will confidently pick up the ball with the Orc. With sure hands. Not all tonight. day long. So, Ben, would you scatter the ball for me? Five. So it goes into the safest square there. Yeah. Quick turn. Okay, so I think my first action, I think I'm going to blitz with the ogre. Because as you say, you are in the danger zone. Going to bonehead? Yep. To blitz. Oh. <laughs> Second one of the game. Let's stick a little token for him. You're not going to risk the loner reroll then? <sighs> no, it does use my blitz. No, I'm not going to risk the loner reroll for a bone. Oh, there's better things to reroll. It's only turn one of the second half, and actually, exactly. if you don't hamper the ball, it's not getting past you anytime soon. Exactly. I don't think I'm going to pick up the ball this turn, so anyway. So. Yeah, I'm going to move my players into defence. So I'm going to put a blitzer here. Put a lineman here. Oh, a cheeky think, bit of column defence. Yeah, I think I'm known for this at the club now. Any of you guys watching that watch the first two episodes would have seen Lewis pull this off as well. Even with mm. less players, you can still comfortably pull off three columns. Now I've spread them out a little bit ineffectively there, but I'm going to go for a pseudo column defence. I just want to slow you down, really. Boxing him in. So the downside of the orcs is they don't really have the movement to switch sides all that quickly. That's what I was going for. They're much more likely to try and punch through things. That is my turn. So, turn two. I don't even have the ball, so I'm not really sure what we can do yet. So let's let's go for this. That is if this doesn't work, there's nothing. First move. Yeah. Ah, oh, there you go. There we go. The halfling dice succeed. So one, two. Three, four, five. Let's see if we can't shuffle the cage back, which is counterintuitive. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Dear, I don't know where there, so I'm, and we'll drop the blitzer back there. <sighs> Struggling to move, but at least we've got the ball now. All right, first thing, I'm going to try and get my ogre back. So Bonehead, he succeeds, and he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'm going to put some pressure on the cage now. I'm going to put a lineman there. I'm going to put this lineman one, two, three. I'm going to blitz. Oh, do I want to blitz yet? No, I'm going to get some support. I'm going to go one, two, three, and move my thrower here. Now I'm going to blitz with this blitzer. Okie dokie. So one, two, three, blitz there. Four so to blitz, so two die. he's got the support there for that extra dice. And you've got the skill advantage. Ooh. It's just the push, though. That, was, that could still end up with you on the ball carrier, however. Yeah, and I think I'm going to take that. So I'm going to put you there. And move my blitzer onto the ball carrier. And I do have the, this blitzer left. Eesh. <laughs> no, I think he's going to stay where he is and be safe. He's going to stay. Your turn. Now on to turn three. So we're in a bit of a tight spot here. We need to break out and we've got one, two, three, move five players and two move six players. So we're not going anywhere you know, particularly fast. But what we can do is we're going to need to either take this blitzer out with a block from him 
or blitzing with him or somebody else to, to, to take their pressure on. So what we're going to do is we're going to blitz with the blitzer. One, two, take out the orc thrower. Uh, he's going to blitz, so he gets the orc thrower's assist on that blitzer. So yep. two dice. Uh, both have block. Both got block. Can I recover this without... Yeah, I can. This guy will now block him. He's got one, two assists against your one. So, two dice. Push is fine. Freeze up the thrower. Yeah, and I won't follow. So, we've got the thrower here now. One, two, and we're going to go three there. This chap will now try and block him with the thrower's support again. Oh, it's Not so today. bad. But we do have our reroll. So, we're going to spend it. There you go. And we'll pop him there. And I'm going to follow up. Let's feed him to the ogre. No, armor's fine. And then we've got this guy here who's going to go one, two, three, four, five. So quite an opening at the back. You can definitely get some blitzes in, but at least we're moving forward. Okay, turn three for the humans. Um, got some quite tasty blocks I can do this game. I'm going to start off with the ogre, as is tradition. Always. So, bonehead. Yep. Five, he's fine. He's going to throw a block at this player here. Uh, I do have block, and you do not. Okay, so ogre gets both down. Yep, although that isn't actually too ideal. But I can make this work. So armour. No. Okay, next I'm going to stand this player up and move him here. Then I'm going to blitz here. So one, two, three, four, five. On the lineman? Um, yeah. Actually, that's a one die block. No, it's got the assist here, don't I? Yeah. Oh, but ah, uh, thrower is also assisting. Ah, uh, then I may as well do it on a thrower. You might as well. Yeah, let's risk the one die on the thrower. I've got a reroll, and I'm going to use <laughs> that reroll. Push. Uh, I'll push you there. Oh, actually, no, I won't. Yeah, yes, I will, and I'll follow up. Okay, that was. Already played. Ogre's been. Okay, now I will. In that case, I will send this player to defend here. Or do I just want to take blocks? I think I'm in a good opportunity. Oh, that's a blitz though. No, I'm going to defend. I'm going to play on the defensive. Ben, yeah. It's just hard decisions. <laughs> hey, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Am I, uh, can I take him back? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm not going to move him yet. I'm going to do the, the less risky. Move one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll go there, actually. Showing off with your six movement. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw a block at this blitzer. Okay, two dice. That is good. Ooh. Dodge star. Can go down there, and I'm going to follow up, which gives the assist here. Okay, roll for armor. Yep. Seven. He's fine. So I'm going to try a block. Uh, now I think I will get some defensiveness, just in case. I'll put a, I'll put my throw there, just a contingent, and throw a block here. Okay. Down. Yep. You got the blitz of support. Push, push. Just a push. Um, where do you want to push you? I think I'll push you there and follow. Okay. And then there's all my players. So turn four. Right, first things first, we are going to just stand this guy up. He's just going to stay there and pin those guys in place. 
and now we've got some bad decisions to make so let's get him up and he can only one die blitz there and that's bad so he won't do that okay best things we can do he's taking out their tackle zones but he's pinning him down so there's nothing we can get out of that situation skill neutral skill neutral even if we took him out it wouldn't matter so we need to get some number advantages is it better to block or dodge it's exactly the same so we're gonna dodge with the thrower he's gonna go there and he's dodge blitzing one okay. two three and we will go for the two die block have a block dice please yep cheers so two die block on the human there oh works out we'll take the power pop him there follow up so what was that? One, two, three, four. Let's roll some armor. Nothing at all. Four. It's 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 really quite bad. So let's push our luck some more. Five. And then six. And then seven. Works out. Okay, I think that's probably the best we can do with the thrower. So that was a cheeky maneuver. And now, what can we do? He is gonna try and one die block him. You get one support, I get one support. So, let's see if we can't push him. Or I could fall over and die. <laughs> so I he goes down, that's, that's a turnover, and what happens to his armor? Nine, he's all right. He is all right. Because orcs are invincible. I turn four. Okay, so I'm going to stand this player up first. I think he was there, wasn't he? Yeah. So he's just going to stand up. And then I'm going to try the... Actually, I'm, something I'm going to do always is move the player here. Just in case, at least you've got someone to deal with. Now I'm going to try and block with the ogre. Okay, so bonehead. He's okay. He makes it. Two die. Uh, yeah. That is what I want. You're one, one assist away from a cheeky three die block, but you didn't need it. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to go there. I'm going to follow up. And then what happens to him? Yes. He's okay. Nothing at all. He's fine. I'm now going to... He's activated, he stood up. Oh, he did, you're correct, yeah. But you've got a few players down here. Yeah. I'm going to blitz with this player. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, perfect. So, blitz there. he's just a lineman, but he's got support, so strength three plus one. Two dice. Pow, ah, pow, good. all day long. And so you can go there. And follow up. Right, let's see how his armor holds out. Nine breaks the armor. Yeah, he's the armor eight throwers. Oh, oh, and he's gone. It's a ten. He is out. So he's gone, and that was random human alignment. And then the ball it scatters to the one. Oh, of course it does. And goes off <laughs> the pitch. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Ooh, going that this is good. way. This could be big. And two d six. Seven. seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. It lands there and it bounces one more square. One. Look Done. at that. That could not be better. All you need to do now is block him there. Sweet. Yes, I do. In. Take the lead. But I'm going to block with the blitzer because I want a better chance here. Okay. So yep, yeah, this blitzer is going to block. Uh, you, we both have block, don't we? We do. But I'm just going to push you out of the way. So you can go there. And I will follow up, just in case. I want you know, someone to deal with. And then one, two, three. Three so plus, three plus three touchdown. Plus he yes. makes it. And I'll run that in there. Okay. One nil to the humans. Okay. Is the Black Orc back? He is back. Okay, so humans have scored, so they're now kicking to the orcs. Where would you like the ball, Ben? I think I'm going to make a 
there's no point trying to kick deep. I'm going to kick. How gutsy do you go? I'm going to go there. Okay, so 2d6 and a d8. So one square to two. Should be there. That's a good bounce. And the kickoff table. Five. Offensive motion. Okay, offensive motion means I get to reorganise my players. Um, now, that means I can swap sides essentially and still try the sweep that I'm going for. Now we can put him there. So the ball lands and he fails to catch it. Oh god, he does. Hi. That's a great start. Okay, so this will become my turn five. Okay, we've got the ball. We need a launch pad because we've, we've got two turns and we need to move 13 squares. I have to go for it with a blitzer already to make this happen. So I think we might need to do a handoff. One, two, three, four, five. If I can get to there, which means... Okay. You still have your reroll. Uh, no, I used it first turn. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Five. So he's going to pop himself there. We're going to be the Black Orc. One, two, three. Shield. One, two, to there. You've got pretty decent reach with the Blitzers, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll bring him up. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's scare some people. And we'll bring the blitzer. One, two, three, four, five to there. Somewhere. Six. That's not even six. That's one, two, three, four, five squares. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, and we'll go for the blitz on the human blitzer. Oh, worked out. That's it. Pop him there, and I'm going to have to follow, or I'm going to get surfed. <laughs> and armor. He's fine. That is, however, everybody for Five. the orcs. Now, the only one you can actually score with is that blitzer. It is just that blitzer. So if I can take him out, or just delay him, that is a victory. So I think I'll set up for the, the, the delay first. So one, two, three, four, five. Now it is resurrection, isn't it? It is. You can go there, thrower. <laughs> 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 Normally I might not do that, but. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I'm going to go with seven there because I want this one to come. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try my move my ogre. Okay. Head. He's fine. So he's gonna go one, two. Uh, see, a better player would know exactly where you can go. <laughs> if you were to go there, let's say, you could. No, you can go through. No, I'm going to put him there. Okay, now I'm going to blitz. Okay, blitzing with him, so you get yep. one support, so two dice. It's all on this. No, I wasn't worried about. Double dodge. You can go down there and I'll follow up. And armor. Go for the armor. No. He's fine. That's your turn. Okay, turn six for the orcs. We've lost the ability to score, so it's just going to be a cheeky glory block. And the black orc is going to blitz. One, two. No, he's going to stand up first. He's going to stand up, and then Black Orc's going to blitz. One, two, three, and have a crack at this human. Giving him two dice. Take that one. Go. Push him straight back. And doesn't do anything. And then we'll see if we can throw from this guy to him. So three plus the throw, and a three plus to catch. Right, showing off at the end. Go. That's it. 
see if we can't get at least a little bit of something. Well, Ben, good game. The good humans game. win. 1-0. Okay, that's it for Orcs versus Humans. It was a it was a tight game. Yeah, really good game. Uh, some brilliant plays there. Um, ultimately ending up in, in Humans winning. Yeah, 1-0. So, yeah, so their first game, they're up 1-0, leaving the Orcs at 1-1. One one. Which is not terrible. Still, two more games to, to play for each, well, for the orcs and three more for the humans. So, how did the human roster? Uh, how did the human roster play for you? Oh, I loved them. It was my first time playing humans. I will admit. Um, wow, but that's one of the first teams that people start with. Yeah, no, I, I, I dive straight into goblins. So <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a nice back to basics. But yeah, um, no, the the ogre performed really well. Um, it was really handy having him on the team. Do you only got a couple of boneheads, I think, do you? Talk? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think two in the whole game. That's but statistically average, so that's that's right. Yeah, he made some good blitzes. It's he's easily able to do that in sevens, which is nice. Yeah, with the smaller pitch, his movement five isn't quite so bad, no. and having block is as big as we said it would be. Oh yeah, it helped. It helped. Um, casualty wise, I don't think. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, the humans got two casualties in that game. Brilliant. Yeah. I mean, they took out the black orc very early. Yeah, on. that was crucial, I think. So that got the numbers advantage from eight to seven to eight to six yeah. and that's a strength player as well so that yeah. was a, a big a big take out but the orcs were in it right into the end yeah uh, you're also a blitzer down uh yeah yes believe, that was right it? Yeah. it was blitzer and black orc out which is a huge amount of yeah you went into the second half with five players which i think is why the humans managed to get that extra touchdown Ooh, you uh you can't do with orcs <laughs> with what you can do with Skaven or Elves with five players. Yeah, on the offensive at least. Because you, that your five players, that's just your cage. Yeah, exactly. That's everybody. So, um at the end of the game we get to choose skills for our teams. So you're going for humans. Um so they're tier two, so they've already had their first double. So yes. normal double. This is normal. So you can give it to any player, even a player that's already got skill. Um what are you thinking for the humans? What would have made that team a bit better? Bearing in mind that they've still got to play Halflings, Wood Elves, and Chaos. Hmm. So, for the normal skills, the kind of things you can take... So, we'll start with the Ogre, because he's everybody's favourite. Yeah. He could pick up Guard, he could pick up Break Tackle. Yeah, Break Tackle could come in handy. Which could be really good to position him. Yeah. Um, the Thrower's already got Leader, he's got Sure Hands, and he's got Pass. I'm thinking he could take block and get you that third blocker. It might help protect him, but I don't know if it's optimal. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he's there's too many eggs in one basket. If he goes down, it's like all oh, your skills gone. Yeah, you've got the two blitzers. Um, their normal skills are things that you, they could you could go esoteric and go with frenzy or tackle. Don't know if it's ideal. Mighty blow, mighty blow's an option. Guard. Yeah, I know mighty blow might help with extra additional removal. Mm -hmm. Or you could boost up a lineman and give him block, yeah. or even kick, or kickoff return. Now I really like kick in sevens. Yeah, it it makes it even. I mean, you're rolling two d six and taking the lowest anyway. Yeah, it's basically going to land that ball wherever you want it to be, and where you can position it three three squares in front of yeah. the opposing team. You you can basically run with an onside kick quite regularly. Yeah, and with. Only the Wood Elves really being the agility team, maybe it could benefit the humans to have that advantage. So they forward. could position it early, and they've got two Blitzers who are movement seven with block. Yeah. Um, uh, a Minotaur? No. An Ogre with who's blitzing at the range of five. If you put that ball in front, um, they're going to have to move forward, which is just going to bring it forward. Yeah, kick is a very interesting idea. I think maybe we'll take kick. <sighs> okay, so pick a lineman. Let's go with David Donovan. David Donovan is now the kicker for the Snow Spiders. So that's quite cool. So they're going into their, well, going into round three, they'll have a, a block ogre, a leader thrower, and a kick lineman along with two blitzers. Yep. Not a bad build. So Orcs, the Gitzberg Steelers. Their uh, thrower is regular. Their black orcs got block, and the blitzers got tackle, which will only really come in handy now if they go to the finals and play Wood Elves again. Um, or halfling so i don't think there's much more to do with the blitzer for the orcs what did you what would you reckon what do you reckon would make them better um because i've got an idea but i want to get your thoughts first i'm wondering maybe boosting the thrower up yeah given block or thrower taking block could be quite good he's got sure hands and pass as well yeah. it would 
introduce another block element. There'll be four block players on the team. Yeah, and he is your carrier. And he is the ball carrier. The thing I was thinking was they've got their reroll, so you don't really want to take the leader on the throw. It would make the rest of the team more um, consistent. Yeah. But I was thinking maybe Frenzy on the Black Orc. Really? He's already got block, so... A Frenzy a Strength Force, it's like a slow Minotaur. Yeah. Could be fun. Probably not the most optimal. Probably not the most optimal. Build your own big guy, yeah. thing, isn't it? Well, that's kind of it. Yeah. It's kind of that's what he does. I mean, maybe even Mighty Blow. Yeah. Um, uh, strength four. He is real slow, though. Like, he is really slow. It's, it's weird, because it's a shame, because we didn't get to see him much in our game. Because he went out so early, so we can't really true. tell. Would that have helped? Would the Frenzy have helped? And, yeah. Block on the thrower would not be a terrible choice. He's done some stuff already. Um, yeah, that's it. Grag Duck, Brain Planner. The thrower is going to go and get block. Solid. Brilliant. So they're going to go into their third game um, in a pretty decent spot. Lovely. Yeah. Well, Ben, thank you ever so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and uh, thank you for playing game one of round two of seven Super Series. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you again next time.